Hello, what's up and what's happening? Welcome back for yet another retro game of the day. Today we got Game Day 2004. A wonderful game to my surprise. I was amazed, man. I was amazed about how fun the gameplay in this game is. Now I'm playing on the default, the default uh, difficulty. I did not max it to the highest. I did not change anything. This is just straight out of the box gameplay difficulty, not manipulating anything. And I was pleasantly surprised. The last game that I had was Game Day 99, and I did not enjoy it that much. I was only like 10 or 11 years old back then. So, yeah. Um, but getting this game, this game is pretty freaking awesome, man. The, the graphics, of course, maybe not the best. The run animations might not be the best, but the gameplay is freaking fun. It's like Daniel Thompson takes that pass all the way to the crib. Touch down San Diego Superchargers. So again, man, the gameplay is fun. Uh, nothing felt overpowered. Nothing felt, and again, I'm just playing on the default um, difficulty, and I wasn't able to run like crazy all over the Chiefs. The Chiefs, they were able to hit LT in the backfield a couple of times. They were able to get pressure right here. Tony Gonzalez, watch Tony Gonzalez, piece to piece. One man, get off me. Two men, uh, get off me. Look at this stiffy. This, you sit down, and you sit down, you disobedient child. Right here, this is my mistake, but again, I like how the receiver kind of goes for the ball, and the DB is there. Of course, the Madden 16, it seems like the DB and the receiver interaction are tied together. Whatever the outcome is going to, you know, whatever the outcome is going to be in Madden 16 as far as the passing game is concerned, it seems like the DB and the receiver, they are just tied together. And then this, it really didn't feel that way. Right here, Trent Green's going to throw another pick. And again, the animations are not tied together. You can see that the safety turned around on his own, got in front of the receiver, and gets a nice interception. And right here, look at LT following his blocks. It's a big block right there with number 60. And then bumbles and stumbles his way up to about midfield. So again, I was pleasantly surprised about how well this game played. Of course, graphically, it doesn't compare. Madden 16 is just a beautiful game compared to this. But when it comes to gameplay and when it comes to having things happen the way they should happen, I'm loving this game. I really am. I played two games. Again, it's a doubleheader. We got Chiefs, Chargers, and I'm going to have Chiefs. I mean, Chargers, Ravens, excuse me. And then right here, the mid-air collisions. I don't believe we got mid-air collisions in Madden until Madden 08. And even now, they're not even, like, perfected in the game because, again, they always change the mechanics and stuff like that. But in this game, especially in the Ravens game, you will see time and time again a receiver go up for a pass, get hit as soon as the ball get there. And it's, just, it's beautifully done and stuff like that. And the stunts in this game are nice. You're able to just control the defensive lineman with ease right here. The ball gets tipped, and then the DB snatches it out of Martin's hands. And we got this thing going back the other way and then right here a beautiful dime by Drew Brees over the middle of Tim Dwight gets a couple nice blocks and then walks into the end zone it's just beautifully done man it's just beautiful football to me football at its best again I would never say that this is the best football game ever but the gameplay is pretty pretty nice it's definitely one of the most underrated football games I think out there in my opinion I'm not gonna say of all time because I haven't played all of them but this is definitely a solid football game right here Jamal Lewis over the middle nobody is on him I believe we were in cover too so he just takes it right down the middle of the field touchdown Jamal Lewis touchdown Raven they take a early seven nothing lead so of course I wanted to take on one of the top defense they got Ray Lewis we get a big block on Ray Lewis though but the safety is there to bring down LT after a nice gain of about nine then third and one at that got with a daddy Thomas and shoots out of a cannon and picks up a big first down again man I just love the fact that you can hit turbo and these guys run fast. It seems like in Madden you hit turbo that they have to like gear up, kind of like an old cartoon. Have to have to like they move their feet, have to quick, woo, 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 and then they start running. You know what I mean? It's like it just doesn't feel nice. Uh, again, Madden 16 is beautiful. It just it doesn't feel nice. Right here, look at that. We fumble the football. The offensive lineman recovers it, turns up field to try to pick up a nice game. How how many times have we tried to do that as there's another big hit in the air? How many times have we tried to do that at Madden and, like, the plays rule down? You know what I mean? There's a fumble. The offensive lineman picks it up, and they blow the whistle in Madden. I mean, it's crazy to me. Anyways, dropping back the pass. Oh, and another beautiful mid-air collision and a beautiful interaction with the DB and with the receivers. Now Drew Brees dropping back the pass. He's going to overshoot his man, Alexander, and that's going to be right into the hands of Ed Reed. And I believe that's the same Alexander on the Detroit Lions in 2005 who's making plays for, you know, Tony Campbell. Anyways, dropping back in the fine, tied, heat wide open. And again, the middle of collisions, I believe, was Madden 08, and I believe cutting the player was Madden 08, and this is in Madden, I mean, game day 2004. 
So the fact that this is in game day 2004, it just really makes you wish like we had another competitor out there. Now this is the stunt. Check out 99, go behind 92, and then go up. Go upfield and try to get the sack. We have never seen that in Madden. I don't think I've ever seen that done well in any of the Maddens I've ever played starting in Madden 97 up until now. And it's beautifully done here. It's beautifully done in, um, in uh, All Pro Football 2K8. they just never been able to get it right in Madden. So drop Madden pass one more time. It's going to be tipped. That DB forgot his hands on the bus, goes right through his hands into David Boston's hands, and we get the touchdown. So we get the ball back with about 26 seconds to go. Breeze looking, Breezy throwing to Alexander. Big time catch and another hit in midair. And I don't think I've seen really the same hit over and over and over again in midair. It's been different ones right here. That's a different one. And again, man, I've only played two games. I'm not really seeing back-to-back -back animations too many times. Right there's a slant route, and that's going to wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed the retro game of the day. As always, I enjoyed bringing it to you. Make sure you leave in the comment section what game, what matchup you want me to do for next time. But I'm out. Peace. Hot sauce.